Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. Um, now we're up to lesson seven of object role modeling where we're going to talk about how to get rid of or uh, actually how to combine some entities in our um, CS diagrams and then uh, also with uh, entities that we can derive from other entities how we can uh, put a note on our diagram to say that. So firstly let's talk about when we can combine entities. So let's say that we want to store two things about each student. Okay, We want to store how much money they have left on their printing balance, so how much money they can spend on printing. And we also want to store how much money they still owe the school in terms of school fees. So we got two different entities here. Now, notice the um, reference mode for each entity. We're referencing both of, the, both of these entities uh, using how much money. So they're both in dollars. So that sort of signals that you can combine them, right? Because they're both referring to money. So how do we combine these two entities into one? Well, we could do it like this. So look at the new way that we express this diagram. So instead of having two separate entities, uh, one entity for the amount of money used for printing, the other entity for how much money they owe. Instead of doing that, we have one single entity that represents an amount of money in dollars, and we have the student linked to this entity twice. So we've got one relationship called student has print balance off, right? So that's the name of this first relationship. Student has print balance of this amount of money. And the second relationship says uh, owes uh, the fees in, in this amount. So there's two separate relationships still, but there's only one entity. So we got rid of one entity. So compared to the diagram above, this diagram is simpler. It has one less entity, which is what we want. Okay, if we can make this diagram as simple as possible, that is the better way. Okay, let's talk about another case where we can combine entities. So here's another case where we have two separate um, relationships. And have a look at the entity names. Okay, we've got a student, we got students, and we're recording information about their gender. And then we've got teachers who we also need to know what gender the teacher has. So both of these entities are referring to gender, right? So what we can do is instead of doing that, instead of doing that, we can simply have, let me just rub it out, both of these link to one single entity for gender. And we can do the same thing for birthday, we can do the same thing for address and things like that. Um, because they are all the same entity type. Okay, so let's now talk about um, derived entities. Entities that we can calculate. Okay, so if you guys remember for each student in our flat file database, we are recording their birthday. Okay, so we can have student was born on a particular birthday where um, we use date to record their birthday. And then we might also want to record how old they are. So we can say student is however many years old. Age um, is however many years old, so in years. How many years old. Now Notice how the age and years can be calculated from the birthday, can't we? So we don't have to store a separate amount of data. We can just use the computer to calculate their age from their birthday. So the way we indicate that, we can put a little dollar sign, uh, sorry, not dollar sign, we can put a little star here on top of the relationship. And then underneath the diagram, we can say, 
the age is calculated from birthday, birth date, minus uh, today's date, minus today's date. Let's say we write it down like that. So that's a derived entity. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.